welcome to Medicare Researchers, your trusted source for answers to medical questions that dermatologists and doctors may not fully cover. Today, we're delving into exfoliative chylitis to provide you with concrete answers to the most common questions people ask us. Our first question, why do the lips become scaly in appearance? The lips consist of three layers of skin, with the outermost layer known as the epidermis. This layer acts as a protective barrier against external elements like sun, wind, and pollutants. Within this epidermis, there are keratinocytes, cells responsible for producing keratin, a protein that strengthens and safeguards the skin. In exfoliative chylitis, these keratinocytes go into overdrive, producing excessive amounts of keratin. This leads to an accumulation of dead skin cells on the lip surface, giving them that scaly and rough appearance. Our second question, why do the lips turn white when they come into contact with water? The white discoloration you observe when wetting your lips is due to the presence of those normally invisible dead skin cells. Under normal dry conditions, these cells are firmly attached to the lips surface. But when water is introduced, they undergo a transformation. The moisture causes them to swell and become more translucent, making them visible. Think of it like wetting a piece of paper, making it temporarily translucent and revealing hidden markings. Question 3. Why do the lips peel in a repetitive cycle? Exfoliative chylitis causes a continuous cycle of peeling and healing due to an accelerated turnover of skin cells in the lips. The constant peeling happens because of inflammation and irritation of the lips. This irritation prompts skin cells to shed faster than they can regenerate, leading to this repetitive cycle. In a healthy individual, skin cells on the lips are continually replaced as old cells die off and new ones take their place. However, in exfoliative chylitis, this turnover is heightened, resulting in a continuous shedding of the lips' outer layers. On to question 4, can stress and anxiety cause exfoliative chylitis? There is evidence to suggest that stress and anxiety can indeed contribute to the development or worsening of exfoliative chylitis. Stress and anxiety activate the hypothalamic pituitary adrenal HPA, axis, releasing stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline. These hormones can suppress immune cell activity, reduce protective cytokine production, and increase inflammatory cytokine production. Chronic stress can lead to chronic inflammation and oxidative stress, potentially damaging the skin barrier. A compromised skin barrier can result in dryness, cracking, and peeling, including on the lips. Additionally, stress and anxiety can lead to behaviors like lip biting and licking, which can exacerbate the condition. Finally, question 5. What are the whitish substances or patches when exfoliating the lips? Those whitish patches or substances that appear when exfoliating the lips in exfoliative chylitis can be attributed to several factors. It might be a fungal infection, such as candidiasis, which can affect the lips more easily when they're already compromised. Another possibility is a buildup of keratin, a protein naturally found in the skin, hair, and nails. Exfoliating dead lip skin can also reveal an accumulation of dead skin cells or even residue from medications or lip products. There you have it, 5 clear answers to common questions about exfoliative chylitis. Remember, we're here to provide you with the knowledge you need. Stay tuned for more informative content from Medicare researchers, as we continue to explore medical topics that matter to you.